Hi, Derek. Hi, Drew. Nice to meet you. My name is Vaisheshika. Um, it's a Sanskrit name that I got from my spiritual master in 1973. I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area, originally Lafayette, I grew up in Lafayette, and became interested in the Krishna con in, well, very, in a very general way, interested in finding out what the meaning of life was about the time I was in high school because it didn't seem <clears throat> like I should be doing so much work preparing myself for the world, quote-unquote, without knowing why I had to die and what was at the end of the universe and so forth. Those seemed to be more pressing questions for me at the time. And uh, began doing a lot of my own research. I had asked my parents several times why I had to die. And they said, don't worry, you're not going to die. And I went away unsatisfied because I thought, well, they're going to die. So I realized I had to find out my own, on my own, <clears throat> the answers to these questions. And miraculously, the more I sincerely inquired, the more the answers seemed to be forthcoming, not just externally, but also internally. And the two were connected. Looking back, I can see that there was a grand plan, and of course, it's still going on. It's an eternal process, not that there's a plateau in spiritual life in that one finds the ultimate goal and then it's finished. But because the absolute truth is unlimited, there is no end point. One becomes an eternal student and dedicated to the investigation and appreciation of that absolute truth in all its different aspects. And uh, to that end, I found that there had been great thinkers before who had also contemplated these topics, and they became kindred souls for me, that uh, others were pressed by the same issues. And therefore, I began to read assiduously the books of the previous uh, great masters and so forth. And I particularly became <clears throat> uh, captivated with the Bhagavad Gita because each, as my friend uh, Navina Nirada for Switzerland, who was visiting here last week, said, um, there are neither too many words or too few words in the Bhagavad Gita. It's all perfect. Every verse, uh, the presentation, every chapter, it fits perfectly. And the answers in the Bhagavad Gita to, uh, for instance, why one suffers. Why is there suffering in the world? world? Is there an answer? One answer to that question. Or is it open for endless speculation on CNN every time there's a disaster? Uh, the answer was yes. There is uh, a very reasonable answer. The the entire presentation is reasonable. That way the intellect can be satisfied and the heart can also be satisfied. So I found Bhagavad Gita and also found the author of Bhagavad Gita as it is, which turned out to be, out of the many different Bhagavad Gitas that I looked at, uh, the one that I gave an explanation for some of the verses that I could not understand on my own. And that led me to my teacher, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who is the founder of this particular organization called ISKCON, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. International Society. It's a society that he founded in order to uh, give people the opportunity to come together, those who are like-minded, and practice specifically bhakti yoga and many different kinds of yoga and yoga has a common goal actually it comes from the root word yuj which means to connect to connect i'm not lacking anything actually except my connection with my original divine source 
And that's what yoga is meant to do. And in and of itself, it's satisfying because I am something significant. But when I'm separated from the whole, I become insignificant. And the example that my spiritual master used to give is the hand. Hand is very valuable. Most of us would probably give a lot to keep it if we had the choice. Yes or yes. (laughs) And if the hand happens to be separated from the body, I'm here, my hand ends up in Fremont under a tree somewhere, and I don't know where it is. I know, it's a gruesome thought. How valuable is that hand sitting under the tree, disconnected from this body? And not very valuable. It's a thing where you would call some agency to come pick it up and (laughs) take it away. (laughs) But as soon as it's connected to the body, then it becomes inestimably valuable to me and to others as well. And in the same way, yoga connects me to my original divine source in a very simple way because it is simple. Because in one way, I've never become, I'm never actually disconnected. It's only because of my... um, Because of illusion, because of an idea that I'm separated from the original divine source, that I suffer. So yoga means to realign oneself with my original source uh, as I am a living entity. The original source of everything is fully conscious and uh, fully cognizant available to everyone at all times. The only deficiency is in myself. And so yoga means to basically turn one's attention back towards that original divine source. And we say Krishna. So Krishna is a, a, a name for God. There are unlimited names for God as the original source of everything is unlimited. So many uh, have various names and all of them are, uh, that are referring to the same complete whole divine truth are valid. The name Krishna is particularly dear uh, because it refers to the divine source as all attractive. Everything that we're looking for in relationships in this world, everything in the, in the category of beauty, power, knowledge, Uh, renunciation and so forth, these kinds of opulences, those things that we find attractive, they all come from Krishna. Krishna means all attractive. The attractor, uh, the one who uh, grabs one's attention and pulls it in. So in the practice of bhakti yoga, we evoke the original feeling of attraction that Uh, every living entity has for the divine. And there are various ways of doing that, just as there are various ways of distracting oneself. Have you noticed any of those these days? Any? And you're just driving down the freeway, I noticed there are signs everywhere. And they grab one's attention. They're designed in that way. Look over here and please participate in this or buy this or so forth. And what happens when I see that? The mind goes there. Might I buy something that I didn't think of I was going to buy before? Yes. Because otherwise, why do they put up the signs? Uh, why... It, Why are they drawing my attention in that way? Because it works. And there's a saying, where attention goes, energy flows. Wherever I put my attention, then my energy will start to go in that direction. So the uh, process of meditation in bhakti yoga means to very deliberately bring one's attention back to the divine source. How's the temperature in this room? It's a little hot. Could we cool it down just a little bit?
So in bhakti yoga, um, uh, there's a very sublime process for meditation. Should I say what it is? Okay. It's a contemplation of the names of the Supreme. And the philosophy behind this is that when dealing with the Supreme, Absolute, the name and the named are the same. It's a very weighty concept. But when I say the name of the Supreme Absolute Truth, then I'm actually in contact at that time with the Supreme Absolute Truth. All around the world you'll find uh, in the um, Christian tradition you'll see the uh, Holy Names High School, Holy Names College. Anybody ever see a Holy Name something? Why is the name holy? <laughs> Why is anything holy? That's an interesting thing. I was, I was traveling through uh, Kennedy Airport in New York a few years ago, and I had, a, I had some of my devotional paraphernalia in a little bag. And uh, one of them is a stone from a sacred hill in Vrindavan. And as I was going through the, the security checkpoint, they wanted to know what was in my bag because it didn't look like with other th kinds of paraphernalia they see in the x-ray machine. So they started, you know, say, taking it out and so forth and said, what's that? And I said, oh, it's a sacred stone. And not only the security people, but a lot of the passengers started craning their necks to look in and say, what is a sacred stone? What are you carrying it around? And one of the, one of the uh, people traveling, I think he was a New Yorker, he kind of leaned in and said, what makes it sacred? And he said, it, it comes from a hill that Krishna lifted with his finger 5,000 years ago. And he's like, oh. <laughs> And it made me think also, you know, what makes it sacred? What makes anything sacred? And in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna talks about his different energies. He says there's, there are categories of energies. They're not all the same. He defines in Sanskrit the, the energies of the, as we call the material world. Bhumir apona lovayu kamano bhudirevacha ahankara me binna prakritir ashtada. He says there's earth water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and ego. So he names these as the gross and subtle elements that are the uh, primary elements of this world. And then, later on in the Bhagavad Gita we find, or actually in the next verse, he says there's a higher energy besides these gross and subtle material energies. He calls them binna, or they're, they're separated energies. He says that there's a higher energy, and that's you. That's yourself. The self is actually categorically different from matter. It's not a combination of a chance combination of matter. As there are some theories that, that propose that life comes about by a spontaneous combustion of matter. And if that were true, then we ask, please reproduce the experiment. <laughs> Um, to make it scientific, otherwise, please don't bring it forward so much. Uh, but there is a definition of the higher energy, and that, that's the self, or sometimes we call it the soul, that living force which is beyond the material elements. And that living force is the same category as Krishna, or the divine source of everything, from whom all energies emanate, material and spiritual. And the names of that supreme divine source are of the same quality of energy as myself, my, my higher self, that is my spiritual self, and by repeating the name and listening to the name, this, according to the bhakti scriptures, uh, provides the best kind of meditation. 
And why is that? There's a famous verse from the scriptures, bhakti scriptures, which says, Nama chintamani krishnas chaitanya rasa vigraha purna shuto nitya mukto bhina dvam nama namino. And this says that the name of the Supreme is like a, the philosopher's stone. In the ancient histories, there's this description of a philosopher's stone, and that is that you could touch, touch it to anything and it would turn whatever you touch into gold. It's transformative. Gold, gold, gold. Whatever you touch, it becomes gold. So such a magical stone is the stuff of, of uh, you know, these movies they have, I think, nowadays that talk, of, you know, there's a magic wand or some kind of magic thing. Uh, but the name is like that, the name of the Supreme. So, Nama Chintamani Krishna's Chaitanya Rasa. So then it says the name is completely alive. Rasa, and it has a taste. There's taste and relationship in that name. And Vigraha, it also has form. The complete form of the Supreme is present within the name. Purna, it's complete. It's not lacking anything. There's an experience that one will have by communing with the name, by meditating on the name, by uh, and let me put it in simple terms, giving one's attention to the name, which is a big deal because basically all we have to give is our attention. Everything else is borrowed. Our attention is our business, where we place it. And if you give your attention to someone, that's uh, a big deal. And if you don't give your attention to somebody... How did that make you feel when I looked at my watch for one second? <laughs> it's like, why is he looking at his watch? He doesn't care about us anymore. The, the one second I take my attention away of, from those I care about, those I'm uh, in front of, and then immediately there's a disconnect. Attention is so powerful. In fact, the word attention has this word ten, which means to connect, like tendon. Attention, it connects us to others. So meditation means to connect to the Supreme, to my divine source, which is Purna. It's complete. There are other things I can give my attention to that are not complete. Coca-Cola, <laughs> in case you didn't know, is a bottle of happiness because that's what's on the advertisement. It says, open a bottle of happiness, which indicates that I'll feel complete. I'll feel satisfaction. Open a bottle of happiness. Every, there are a lot of uh, meanings, you know, complicit in this word, open a, in this phrase, open a bottle of happiness. In, they're saying, you know, you drink this, you'll get everything. You'll be complete. <clears throat> but it's not so true. <laughs> Coca-Cola, it's sugar water, and I don't know what else. Nobody knows, it's a secret formula. <laughs> but I do know that it doesn't make you feel complete. <laughs> Coca-Cola, and many other things. I don't mean to pick on Coca-Cola. They're a great company, I'm sure. Coca-Cola. So, Purnashuna, the, the name is complete, unlike Coca-Cola and other... Uh, disconnected items in this world that I might think of or meditate on. And shuddha, it's completely pure. There's nothing in it that's not good for me. It's like when you go home and uh, your mother gives you something to eat, uh, you don't say, what's in it? And you know, she loves you, so she's going to give you the best thing, Right? So shuddha, that's completely pure. There's nothing in it that you have to say, ooh, what's that? You, know, you, you, you can wholly give yourself to, the, to this sound vibration. Give your full attention with no hesitation. This is the feeling. And this is absorption in meditation. That I can put my, my attention here and exclude all other things, let everything else go by, and put my attention in this one place, 
and everything will be okay. Purna Shuddho Nitya Mukto, and then it says this name of the Supreme is eternally, Nitya means eternally, liberated. It means it's not bound to any law in this material world. I'm jaded by the experience I have in this world in that it's business as usual. And there are many songs about this. If you look through the, the songs in recent and past history, you'll find that people sing about the same kinds of things. I had it, I lost it. Right? I had it, I lost I had love, I lost my love. Uh, I was punished by the material nature somehow. I'm suffering. There's the blues. You can sing the blues. That's, that's a, a genre of music just about how miserable life is. And it kind of makes you feel better to hear others sing it. <laughs> sing the blues. How bad do you feel? Really, 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 really bad. You don't know. <laughs> you know. And so the, the name is beyond the, the wranglings of this material world, the, the, the wranglings of the business as usual, the laws that I'm used to in this material world, where I touch it, I get burned, I touch it, I get burned. I keep touching the wrong thing and getting burned, and the, the reactions keep coming to me. So Nitya Mukto, it's liberated, it's, it, it doesn't belong to this world. It's, it's not like anything else I've experienced in this world. Binatvam means it's um, absolutely the same as the, the thing, the person that I'm naming. Bina means there's no uh, disconnect. You're absolutely in the right place and you'll be completely connected just by um, thinking of the name, of that vibration, and uh, keeping your attention there. Binatvam nama namino. So the, the name and the name are identical. No difference whatsoever. Except, comma, there is a great devotional saint 500 years ago who wrote a poem about this process of meditation that we're going to go into today. And he said, there is a difference between the name and the named. And everyone's shocked because the, the basic premise is there is no difference. And then he says the difference is that the name is actually uh, more beneficial, more merciful than the named, even though there's no difference. Because there's a way in which the Supreme Divine Source may be out of my reach. Sometimes people say, can you show me God? And you say, he's in heaven and it's like I'm thirsty I need something to drink and you say there's a cloud go help yourself that's how far away that idea of heaven is and then someone else might say that that uh, I'm thirsty give me a drink and you say go catch a flash flood somewhere who knows where a flash flood's going to show up at what time how I'm, how I'm going to be there for the flash flood so in a similar way, there are different avatars, appearances of the Supreme in, in this world, according to Scripture. But how are you going to land at the same time, same place, and be there for that appearance? Same as getting water from the flash flood. And then someone else may say, God's in your heart. But the, the process for yoga through which yogis sit down and actually are able to completely still the senses in the mind in such a way that they're really able to perceive the presence of God within their heart is a very meticulous process that requires time and solitude, two things not many people have in <laughs> this day and age, time and solitude. Um, and this is like getting water from the bottom of a very deep well. Apparatus required, apparati required to reach down, grab it, bring it out through buckets and so forth. It may seem simple nowadays to turn on a faucet, but I was in Hungary recently at one of the um, self-sustaining, self-sustainable farms, 
and some of the devotees who live out there, they, they, only, they don't use electricity and they have these wells. And I saw that the wells are very deep and they have these cranks. And I said, how is it getting water from the well? And they said, really hard. <laughs> it's romantic, but it's really hard. And so there's a, um, there's, there is a way in which one can have a very immediate and direct connection with that water that we're thirsting for, and that is this uh, process of meditation, which is through repeating the name of the Supreme and uh, thinking of the name, here, just hearing the syllables, N no speculation necessary. And this is like water in the palm of your hand. You can just drink it at any time. The experience is direct. You can uh, experience for yourself with a little bit of effort, a little bit of effort. Lift your hand, drink the water right in the palm of your hand. So this is the, uh, what we call the mantra meditation. And very specifically this mantra which contains what we call the primary names of God. As I say, there are, uh, God has unlimited names. And every one of you in this room also has many names. I don't know if they're unlimited, but they could be. Uh, we have more than one name. Lalita? Do you have any other names besides Lalita? Boo-boo, Boo -boo, yeah. Anybody else? <laughs> Nicknames, anyone? Yeah? Who does it? Bitu. Bitu. <laughs> Everyone has some nickname, yeah? What do you call him? Robin. Robin? <laughs> and, and you can tell that it's a, out of some kind of an affection. It's according to relationship. You know, someone goes, hey, boo-boo. Hey, Robin. Uh, you know, people at work might call you something. In high school, there are a lot of names, a lot of, according to your propensity. And, you know, someone might call you something, speed shift, hey, speed shift. Some, some name, you know, that relates to your activity, to your personality and so forth. So the same way, the Supreme has many names. And some of them are very affectionate names. Some of them are so intimate that, uh, like you have names that only a few people know. Maybe only your closest friend or uh, your mother knows that name. And if you were walking through, let's say, uh, Kuala Lumpur in a, some side street, <laughs> and suddenly somebody leaned out the window and said, hey, boo-boo, <laughs> you'd wheel around so fast and think, who knows me? Who knows that? Who knows? Who is that? Instantaneously, everything would come to you that this person is, I'm connected to this person somehow. He knows me. And uh, in a similar way, there, there are names of God, according to the Bhakti scripture, that are very intimate. And if one, with the right attitude and sentiment, repeats those names, uh, how quickly will there be reciprocation? And there is reciprocation, this is the point. Uh, some kinds of meditation, which are also beneficial, in which one focuses one's mind, focus is always beneficial, but there may be an inanimate object, like a candle flame, or one may concentrate on the breath, which is also a, a means for controlling the mind, fixing it in, on one point and not letting it uh, run everywhere, noting that it's running everywhere and then bringing it back to one point. Uh, calming the mind is the first goal of yoga. But those inanimate objects don't have the power to reciprocate, whereas according to the bhakti scriptures, the name does. And the name measures our sincere attempt to concentrate on it and 
also assists us and reciprocates in its own way. Therefore, this kind of bhakti yoga meditation in which one repeats the name and then meditates on it and uh, keeps bringing one's focus back to the name is especially beneficial. So there are different ways of singing or chanting the name. And one means is a very personal means, a personal practice that one can take up, and it's called japa. Japa. So japa means the kind of meditation through repetition of a mantra that one does for oneself. You're not doing it for others, it's private. And therefore you're uttering the, the mantra and just loud enough so that you yourself can hear it. From your lips to your ears, you have this circle of sound going on. It, the vibration goes out, your, out your, from your vocal cords into your ears, and then uh, you can stay within this circle of sound, this japa. And then, there, of course, there are other ways to, uh, of chanting the name loudly. This is called kirtan. You're singing the name loudly, and then there's a call and response with an audience. In the process of japa, uh, we use the mantra. So it's useful to revisit the meaning of the name mantra, the word mantra, Man means mind, and tra comes from the Sanskrit word trayate, which means to deliver. So the mind is delivered by the sound vibration. It delivers the mind from absorption and lower vibrations by giving one a higher vibration to concentrate on. It pulls one up out of the lower vibrations of this world. Mantra. Any reflections so far? Let's take a few reflections. One thing that you've heard so far that's stuck in your mind. And then, just to, to let you know, we're going to do some a practical experiment. We're going to reconfigure the room. In and of itself, I read in Reader's Digest once, that uh, just by re redoing your, the rearranging the furniture in your house, you can actually um, improve your relationships at home. <laughs> That's what it was about. <laughs> kind of interesting because everyone gets a, used to it's humdrum. Everyone it's a, this is the uh, everyone takes everything for granted. So like, let's rearrange the furniture, and then you put everything in a different way. It's like, hey, I really like you again, you know. <laughs> so there are ways in which just by rearranging the way uh, our, uh, we live. And just by in this room, we'll see in a minute when we rearrange the room into more of a circle, a semicircle, uh, it'll be more conducive. Well, we'll see. I, I don't want to prejudge. But it'll be different, that's for sure. So do that. And also, I had advertised that Ratatvaj Swami was going to come, but he wrote us yesterday and said that he couldn't come from Florida because he was ill. And his uh, friends and uh, well-wishers had advised him not to get on the airplane. So you're stuck with me today. <laughs> yes. I'm going to just, uh, just um, share two things. One is about the, I really like the, the similes that you drew about um, drinking from a flash flood and going and getting water from the deep well versus drinking it from the palm of the hands. This was really nice. <laughs> and second thing I was thinking was about the mercy of the holy name. And you said that uh, holy name looks at your intention and your desire to chant and it's very merciful. 
and I, as, as you were telling that, I, was, I realized that I forgot to bring the Zupa to sit here, and I was thinking, how will I get up, disturb the class when the chanting starts? And then you just said that you're going to rearrange the room. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just thinking how merciful the holy name is, because it saw that. You know. What did you forget to bring? Well, there's more back there, right? Oh, no, no, bring it from the back. And, and oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> we could have somebody bring it. Yeah. There, see, Avanti, go get you one. Even more mercy. Anybody else who wants a Zafu? Zafu, it's, it's a Buddhist meditation cushion. I, I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't know if Buddha sat on one, so I can't really say for sure, but it, it's beneficial for, uh, if you put, if you get your, your hips higher than your knees, it's easier to sit for a longer period of time. And that'll be one of the topics of this uh, workshop today, and that is, for meditation, you should find a comfortable seat. And it may not even be sitting cross-legged like this. If you're more comfortable sitting on a chair or something like that, that's also possible. But you do have to be able to sit, which is a big deal. Just sitting is a big deal because these days we move so much. And even if we're sitting, we're moving through the internet and so many other things. But sitting doesn't just mean sitting still, but it means also stilling the mind and not doing anything. Somebody reminded me or, or asked me the question, are you a, a human being or a human doing? And there's a way in which uh, I get very few opportunities just to uh, sit and experience my, my just a little bit of time, my uh, <coughs> nature, my internal nature. Okay, so a few more reflections. Anything that you heard so far that stuck? How oh, it is quick reciprocation you made, like how when we chant uh, holy name, it's like quick reciprocation than any other method. Quick reciprocation, yes. And we'll talk a little bit today about the, preparing uh, the mind and the heart for meditation is recommended in the bhakti scriptures that one approach this with in a humble state of mind in a humble state of mind not taking anything for granted not thinking let me capture this uh, but thinking that uh, i'm grateful for the opportunity and whatever grace whatever divine grace is bestowed upon me um, i'll accept it with an open heart anything else Yes. So I just started thinking about uh, you talking about namas more merciful than than the than Krishna himself. So then I started just going through this thought process like a minute ago. And so then the, uh, the sound is more merciful than the form. And then I started thinking about taste. So then is Krishna Prasadam more merciful than, than, the, than the sound of Krishna's name? Then I started going through that. Yeah, sound, form, taste, the most. We like it. <laughs> Shamalanki. I had this, like what he said, the same thing, like uh, reciprocation. And that, I think that that's what which keeps us going, like with the chanting, because we, we hope and get, like, you know, want to get the reciprocation. Sure. Everyone has to have some reciprocation in any endeavor. And nothing is so encouraging as progress or success. Right. Well, but they're absolute, actually. But only, only poetically, Rupa Goswami was saying the name is more merciful than the named because of the way that he extends himself. The name comes to the material world and goes to every part of the, the creation in such a way that uh, people can reconnect. So it's, it's a matter of how the name extends himself to 
to living entities everywhere. Hi, Krishna. So what really stuck in my head was the one line that where attention goes, energy flows. And the, uh, the thing you mentioned that attention is the only thing which belongs to us and everything else is borrowed. So I just realized that this is something which I'm <laughs> not really fully giving to Krishna. So I can yeah, thanks for it. bringing that up. It's, it's a really important point, especially for this japa meditation. That is, the, the, our attention is what we have to offer. And sometimes it's underrated. And I think, oh, what's the big deal? I can do two things at once, or three things, or five things, or 20 things, and so forth. But, uh, and, and in a relationship, just in a practical way, if someone has a relationship, say, a, a daily, regular relationship as, you know, husband and wife, or spouse, or, you know, children, friends, one can notice that the way in which I give my attention will affect the relationship drastically. And it, it's just the, even the smallest bit of attention is appreciated. And if there's, a, if there's a, even a hint that I'm there, but I'm not really paying attention. You know, someone, for instance, two people live together, someone might be saying, you know, you know, the car wouldn't start today, and I, you know, had a really rough day, and the other person's going, yeah, mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, good, because I have a paper here. Mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Then the other person feels like, okay, although they're saying, uh-huh, they're not really giving their attention. So the, the, the main key to meditation is a very simple one, and that is that... Uh, I have one thing to offer, and it's my attention. And it's the one thing that I can willfully do. I can put my attention in a certain place, in a certain way. And it doesn't matter what the external environment is. I can always rearrange my, uh, I can always redirect my attention in a certain way. And that's what's necessary, only thing that's really necessary. So there are things that help that. Uh, for instance, hearing about it, makes one give more attention because the mind says, oh, there's value in this. My mind, my attention t t tends to go where I think I'm going to get the most value in life. And that's why, you know, you may be sleepy, tired or something and someone calls you and says, if you get down here right, way, right now, I'm going to give you $100. And it, boom, run down this. Because <laughs> there's some value in it for me. So we, one we, reason we hear about the process of meditation before we do it, and, as, and on an ongoing basis, uh, as we're practicing it in our lives, is to bring our attention back in that direction. Um, and it's very uh, rewarding, yes, attention. Thank you very much. A few more? Reflection, anything? Okay, so... Now, uh, I found oh, this. It's Kathleen. Yeah, go ahead. Kathleen, great to Hi. hear you. Hi. Um, you know what I really liked was um, when you were doing the nicknames. And it was um, because Tukaram Prabhu talks a lot about, you know, the Maha Mantra is like a child crying out to its mother. And it's like, hey, hey, you know, hey, you. And so when you were talking about you could be in some other city somewhere and all of a sudden somebody uses your nickname my nickname happens to be cupcake that's what my <laughs> husband <laughs> thank you for being vulnerable <laughs> <laughs> so so if i happen to be somewhere and somebody calls me cupcake I, I would wheel around really fast and go whoa this person knows me so thank you very much for that yeah yeah sure and uh, mukarvin get me that verse from the 11th canto again which it says that, that Krishna uh, so much appreciates one who is saying the name, or Bhagavatam, you know which one I mean? So there's a way in which uh, the Bhakti scriptures, the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the, the, uh, considered to be the best of all Bhakti scriptures, says that uh, there's a, not only do we benefit, but, but Krishna appreciates when we give our attention in such a way that he actually 
gives his attention and even more to, to the and, and affection to those who are turning their attention towards him. Well, he's finding that verse. I just this uh, there was people throw papers at my house. I asked him not to about 150 times, but still they end up. This is from the Examiner, wherever that's from. Schools slash suspensions. I noticed it, and I was just about to throw it in the recycle bin, but I just noticed this little headline: schools slash suspensions. Why? were they able to slash suspensions? That means kids were not behaving themselves and they had to kick them out of school. So then there's a sign that says, think before you act. Think before you act. And then I went into the article a little more deeply. And it says, instead of suspensions, the San Francisco Unified School District has focused on restorative practices, key word, restorative practices in order to keep troubled students on the path of graduation. And so this meditation you can take as a restorative practice because the mind is unruly. And we say troubled students, the mind is troubled. Well, I'll speak for myself. My mind is troubled <laughs> by so many things. Uh, it, it, can, it can focus on any, any given topic and become troubled by it at any second, at any place, in any time in the, of, of the day or night. You know, the mind can focus on something that's beyond my uh, circle of influence and then become anxiety ridden. Any of you experienced that before? <laughs> or is it just me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I mean, the Bhagavad Gita says a similar thing, that there are unlimited kinds of anxieties and and agitations by desires that one can feel. So this meditation also can be taken as a restorative practice, a restorative practice. I really like that. So this uh, restorative practices are very good for us uh, in the rest of our life as well. It's not that this is an isolated uh, practice, but actually it will affect everything else that happens in our life, the way we're able to have our own personal experience that uh, in and of ourselves we are valuable. In fact, we're the most valuable thing that we have. My mind tells me that I need some other thing in order to be satisfied or happy. But actually, through the process of this meditation that will uh, start today, uh, I'll experience that I already have everything I need. It's uh, internally available. And this is very reassuring. It gives one self-esteem. It gives one a sense of integrity and so forth, uh, knowing um, or, or one develops integrity through uh, practicing oneself uh, and being true to one's uh, internal uh, realization that I am a part of the Supreme. And this is a verse which indicates the reciprocation of the, of the Supreme. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is so kind to the conditioned souls that if they call upon him by speaking his holy name, even unintentionally or unwillingly, the Lord is inclined to destroy innumerable sinful reactions in their hearts. Therefore, when a devotee who has taken shelter of the Lord's lotus feet chants the holy name of Krishna with genuine love, the Supreme Personality of God, it can never give up the heart of such a devotee. One who has thus captured the Supreme Lord within his heart is to be known as a Bhagavat Pradhan, the most exalted devotee of the Lord. That verse is 11. Two fifty-five. Do we have some uh, extra japa beads in case someone wants to use those at a certain point? You don't have to pass them out now, but bring them in. So, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna, at a certain point in his dialogue with Arjuna, his student recommends that he control the mind. 
And he says, uh, O mighty armed son of Kunti, referring to Arjuna, it is undoubtedly very difficult to curb the restless mind, but it is possible by suitable practice and detachment. This is after he had recommended that Arjuna control the mind, and Arjuna said, I think it's impossible because the mind is uh, obstinate, it's mad. Um, chanchalam himana krishna. He said the mind is chanchal, which means that it runs from here to there. One minute it thinks this is good, next minute that's bad, it goes over here. It's constantly moving. Chanchalam himana krishna. Pramati means that it's mad. Mad in the sense of crazy. It's like, why'd you say that? Why'd you think that? Sitting next to your best friend and the mind says, why don't you kill him? You know? <laughs> like, oh, the mind is, it could, it, it's just pramata, it's crazy. Pramata balavad and means very strong also. Very strong. Balavad, dridham and determined. So if such a personality embodying all these qualities happened to come into this room now, we'd be, we'd be th thrown off course for the rest of the day. Somebody who's chanchal means they're all over the place, bringing up different topics, sitting in different chairs, and then they're crazy. It becomes apparent that they're not able to, um, you know, function in the same reality we are. Balavad, and they're very strong. Even if we wanted to escort them out, we wouldn't be able to practically because they're so strong. And dridham, and they're very determined to be here. It means that even if we get rid of them, they're going to come back. <laughs> so that's what we're dealing with, with the mind. And, and Arjuna basically throws up his hands and says, how, how am I going to practice meditation dealing with such a formidable energy, enemy? So here's, Krishna says, it, it is undoubtedly difficult to curb the restless mind, but it is possible by suitable practice and by detachment. So we're going to look at some suitable practice and also talk about detachment a little bit. So first of all, in Sanskrit, practice is called abhyas. Abhyas means practice. And the definition from the Sanskrit dictionary of abhyas is repeated or permanent exercise, discipline, use, habit, custom, repeated repeated reading, study, inculcation of a truth conveyed in sacred writings by means of repeating the same word or the same message. In yoga philosophy, the effort of the mind to remain in its unmodified condition of purity, called sattva. That's from the Monier Williams Sanskrit Dictionary. And the other aspect of meditation for this japa that Krishna recommends is vairagena, which means by indifference, by disgust, by aversion to worldly objects. So indifference is, is very powerful when it comes to dealing with the, well, any unruly, like an unruly child. I had the opportunity um, several years in a row, maybe five years in a row, to drive from Osaka to Takayama, uh, way up in the mountains, in a van with my best friend Satyadev Prabhu, and also a living entity we came to call Guruji, <laughs> who turned out to be a nice young man, but when he was a child, he was a terror. And we had to ride in the same van with him for many hours and try to carry on our discussions and our chanting and everything else we were doing. And he terrorized us, and he knew he was terrorizing us, and he took great pleasure in it. And after some time, <laughs> we realized that telling him to stop was a mistake, because he'd just do it more. He got energy from that. But when we were indifferent to him, he began to, his energy subsided, and he would fall asleep and snore. And... Uh, <laughs> And so, <laughs> and so this indifference to the mind, which can be like an unruly child, is very powerful. Learning indifference to the various temporary stimuli that come to me through my mind and senses and the, the unlimited desires that come into the mental system. Krishna uh, 
compares to the ocean. He says the ocean is constantly stimulated by rivers that rush into it from every side, but it stays the same. It doesn't move. It doesn't go up, doesn't go down, stays the same. So in the same way, he says, you have to be indifferent. So these are the two aspects. The practice means you have to do the, mindfully do the same thing every day over and over again until you get good at it. And the other part is you have to learn indifference to the distractions that come and learn to be indifferent. Indifferent. It doesn't make any difference to me <laughs> whether you come or not. I just, I just don't pay attention at all. I, I disconnect from those and let them be, go their own way. I don't chase them. I don't try to tie them up. I, I'm just indifferent. I don't care anymore. So uh, in this way, one can actually develop a meditation habit. One can actually get good at it. It can become part of uh, one's being. And here's a definition of, uh, or a, a piece of advice of how to develop a habit. The beginning of a habit is like an invisible thread. But every time we repeat the act, we strengthen the strand. Add to it another filament until it becomes a great cable and binds us irrevocably in thought and act. So the, the tiny filament added every day in the proper way soon becomes a thread, the thread soon becomes a little cord, and the cord becomes a rope, which is unbreakable. So now, um, to put, bring some energy, let's, uh, let's try rearranging the room a little bit. And we want to have like a, a semi, semi-circle. And it means that um, if you're in a chair, you can just move in a little closer also. That's another part that'll help. Let's see what you come up with. <laughs> and if you need to take a little break, take a break and stretch. It will get the closer, bring it in a little closer. The circle could be a little closer. This way. It's still closer, it'll close it in a little bit. Yeah. I think if it's okay with Ramanandi, you can ask. So the first uh, item is uh, being present with the holy name. So when we say the holy name, I'm talking about the mantra. 
There are many mantras, but the uh, mantra that has been passed down to us in our line of practicing bhakti is called the Maha Mantra. And it has 16 words and 32 syllables. And it's printed on the screen above you. And the pronunciation is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. I'll say please repeat. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Hare. So the meaning of the mantra is, O oh my Lord, O oh energy of the Lord, please engage me in your service. So this is the um, uh, natural tendency or the dharma, the eternal occupation of every living entity, is that we are servants. Service. Um, when I'm connected to service, I become happy. And this means, please connect me to the highest service. Let me serve you. And not some other lower cause. I mean, there are many good causes, but there's one great cause. And this is the idea in yoga. I want the great cause, not the good causes. So when I'm saying the mantra, I'm actually calling out. And one should be present for the mantra. Uh, these are a few notes that I'll read to you from Satyadev Prabhu, who teaches meditation, and some of them, I think, just may strike a chord and help you. So I'll read them out. Presence is synonymous with consciousness. When you're present, when you realize you're present, and you, and you can see that you're not, you're not jumping to a place in the future, going to the past, you're staying in the present, you're conscious. Life is consciousness. When you refer, what you refer to as your quote unquote life can more accurately be called your life situation. Forget about your life situation for a while and pay attention to your life. Your life situation exists in time. Your life is now. Your life situation is mind stuff. Your life is real. Find the narrow gate that leads to life. It is called the now. Narrow your life down to this moment. Your life situation may be full of problems, as most life situations are, but, <clears throat> excuse me, but find out if you have any problem in this moment, not tomorrow or in 10 minutes, but now? Do you have any problem right now? I guess we can answer that. Anything right now? Anyone? So we're all okay, right? <laughs> it's generally in the future that I, I, my mind says, you're gonna have a problem. I conjure some idea that the problem is here. But right now I'm okay, and this is a good question to ask while you're meditating or any other time. Am I okay right now? Even, the, even the, the decision comes down from the court and says, okay, you owe an extra $10,000. And then the mind freaks out and says, I'm finished. And they say, are you okay right now? I mean, you're sitting here having a sandwich. <laughs> Who cares about $10,000? It's just an idea anyway, right? So are you okay right now? Yes. And, and the answer is always yes, I'm okay right now because... Uh, as Krishna points out in the Bhagavad Gita, you're an eternal soul. You can't be cut, burned, dried. All these other things are your life situation that your mind is reacting to, but you're okay right now. So uh, come to that space. We are present when we are interested in our life as opposed to our life situation. Our life is always here and now in the present moment, Life or consciousness is constant, never coming or going. Life is sat chit ananda vigraha. Can you move over on this side? 
as we chant, we can be present for the holy name. One way of understanding presence is to examine what is not. Absence, presence, as in the case with people on the cell and at the same time meeting with a friend is similar to chanting and at the same time contemplating the past or future as opposed to being aware of what is occurring in the moment. Perhaps even more overt forms of absent presence japa are such things as computer japa, wandering eye japa, driving japa, cleaning up the home japa, etc. So this means I may, the mind will suggest these kinds of things. So what's the difference? Uh, I clean the house, I watch the computer, do all these kinds of things while I'm trying. But real japa meditation is completely different. It means to have absolute, complete, exclusive focus only on one thing, at, and that is being present for the, for the name at the, at the time that you're doing it. <clears throat> So, how to develop presence awareness. So we're gonna do a little experiment first just to get started. Become aware of your breath and the conscious aliveness that is pervading your body. Maintain this awareness of uh, the awareness in your body as you stay present for the name. So just close your eyes and find, a, if you're not, comfortable where you're sitting or how you're sitting, please make yourself comfortable. There are zafus, there are chairs, whatever you need, please get it and feel comfortable. And just relax. Consider that you're in the, the safest place in the whole universe right now. It's a spiritual vortex. You don't have to go anywhere else, be anywhere else. Uh, let all those other obligations that your mind is bringing to you drop away, melt away and become aware of your breath for a moment. The very fact that you breathe or you're being breathed, you can't stop breathing actually, is a gift. And become conscious just for a minute that you're alive. And now become conscious of how that aliveness is in your feet. Now transfer that aliveness and your awareness to your shoulders. And now the tip of your nose. And now to your stomach. Awareness is very powerful and you can place it anywhere you like. So then Satya writes, when consciousness becomes conscious of itself, a natural joy arises because we are something very phenomenal and we're connected to the supreme absolute. So now let's just practice a little breathing. And it's called four, 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 breathing. And we'll do three rounds, which means inhale for four counts, and then exhale for four counts. And count as you inhale and exhale, and just be aware of your breath coming in and out, and realize that it's sustaining every cell in your body and every cell is breathing with you. Four counts in and four counts out. Now return to your normal breath 
and just notice the consciousness that pervades your body. So this is a good way to start your chanting on a regular basis. Get yourself centered first and then realize that you're a conscious entity. You can place your consciousness wherever you wish and then begin your chanting. And now we're going to see if we can remain fully focused and conscious of just three mantras. We won't go beyond three mantras. So together we'll repeat the Maha Mantra and do it very softly. We'll do it in unison. But just see if you can keep your attention on the mantra for three mantras. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, now silently, in your mind, chant three mantras and keep focused on the three mantras. Okay, so as we're practicing our chanting this morning, if your attention wanders to thoughts about the past or future, as you notice that it has, gently return your attention and your awareness to the mantra. So, the next very practical aspect of a bhyas in mantra meditation is pronunciation. So, the bhakti scriptures say that yoga begins with the tongue. And you can remember that the tongue is the strongest muscle in your body relative to its size. And the Padma Purana, one of the Bhakti scriptures says, Atashi Krishna Marina Bhaved Grayam Indriye Sevon Mukihi Jiva Dao Swayameva Spuratyada That yoga begins by serving with the tongue. So you can consider as you're repeating the mantra that you're doing a service. And that just by doing this service of using the muscles in your tongue to pronounce the divine names, that everything else will come to you knowledge, detachment, and eventually uh, Krishna will reveal himself to you just by this one service. And as Bhaktivinoda Thakur says in one of his poems, there's nothing else to be had in the 14 worlds except this name. So you can rule out all the other things that your mind brings to you and says, how about this? How about a Coca-Cola? And he says, no, 
There's nothing else but the name. Everything is there within the name. If I get this, I have everything else. That, that ought to interest your mind. <laughs> and so pronunciation is something you can control. And you can, it will help bring your awareness back to your uh, japa and to the name by pronoun pronouncing the name. There's a tendency that uh, over time, in any practice, one will uh, begin to do it faster and less accurately. And uh, I know in practicing and learning the, the, the majanga from a teacher, from my teacher, he, he makes me go much slower than I'm comfortable with because as soon as you think you got it, he's like, I'll oh, speed up now. He's just slower, 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 slower and get the technique right. And he always says that you can't practice uh, fast and imperfectly. If you practice imperfectly, you'll, you'll never do it fast and right. But if you do it slow and right, then eventually you'll be able to go fast and right. So same thing with japa. Be very careful about how you pronounce the holy name. And one thing that you can do on a regular basis is record yourself and play it back. It's very shocking. And you'll be depressed for at least a week. <laughs> but but it's necessary. Uh, so you can hear that you're saying, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And Srila Prabhupada, in his explanation of chanting Japa, he, sometimes he'll say, he, he, he would say funny things about, you know, shnik shnik nam nam nam, that, you know, after some time, the, the, Mantra degrades into You don't even know <laughs> what somebody's saying. It could be embarrassing if you hear someone else. It's like, what is that mantra? <laughs> don't do it yourself. Just be an example to your own self that uh, you carefully pronounce the name. That's very important. So that's one part. And the second part is uh, posture. Uh, posture helps concentration. I mean, even when I mention it, I say posture, then everyone will move a little bit. And I become aware after some time of, of how I'm sitting. But basically, posture means if, you're, if your spine is a little bit erect, then you'll be more concentrated. And it's interesting how if you just stay a little bit uh, focused on keeping your posture correct, that the attention will come much more easily. And another thing I've noticed very practically, oftentimes there's this tendency to rock. After, and, it, and it's sort of like the mind wants to like, okay, I'm sitting now. Can I move a little bit? You know? <laughs> Let me have at least this. What do you think? You know? <laughs> but you can try. I mean, ultimately, these are just suggestions. Everyone has their own style and you can develop in your own way. But uh, I've noticed that if I stop rocking altogether, the awareness comes back. And because it, it's a way that, that my mind can you know, not notice how much it's jumping around, or I won't notice how much my mind's jumping around because my body's moving. As soon as I stop and I just try to concentrate on the mantra and sit still, uh, I get more concentration on the mantra itself. So we've talked about pronunciation, Posture, and these are the three P's. And the third one is prayer. So, prayer. And here's a quote from the original album. It was a record, a 33 and a third, you know, vinyl record album that um, Srila Prabhupada, my spiritual master, produced back in the 60s. And then it, it went out to many places. And actually, George Harrison listened to it in London. That's why he, he got interested in the process. And it already came out to California before any devotees came here. And they listened to the chanting and some of these explanations that Prabhupada gave of the chanting process. And it opened their, their um, mind to this process. So he wrote, the three words, namely Hara, Krishna, and Rama, are transcendental seeds of the Mahamantra. And the chanting is a spiritual call for the Lord and his internal energy, Hara. 
for giving protection to the conditioned soul. The chanting is exactly like a genuine cry by the child for the mother. Mother Hara helps in achieving the grace of the spiritual father Hari, or Krishna. And the Lord reveals himself to such a sincere devotee. In another place, Prabhupada said, just listen to your sincerity, of the sincerity of your chanting. So, uh, prayer. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, one of the bhakti scriptures, there's a story of an elephant named Gajendra. And he was very focused on his life situation. And he was a happy elephant because he was the king of the elephants and he had a really nice family. And he lived in a really beautiful neighborhood in the heavenly planets. And everything was good. And then one day when he stepped into a lake to take a bath and to spray water on all his family members, an alligator attacked him and locked onto his leg and he couldn't get it off. And that's when his life situation changed. And everyone's life situation will change at some point, even drastically. And so this uh, chanting, we're preparing ourselves. And we should be aware that there's a, a way in which, at every moment, actually, life is unstable. Kamala dala jala jivana talamala. One of the great poets in Bengali says that we're like a drop of water sitting on a lotus leaf. It can roll off at any minute. My illusion is that I'm okay. Everything's fine. I have enough money. I have, I have gas in the tank. <laughs> Just filled up at Arco. Everything's okay. But actually, it, it, life is unstable, and at any minute it can slide off. I'm helpless, actually. Helen Keller said that, any idea of security in this world is complete illusion. There, there is no security in this world. Uh, whatever I think is security is illusion. So uh, prayer means calling out, uh, like Gajendra, I, I need help. Please protect me. And please let me serve you. These prayers are very powerful when we chant the Maha Mantra and we're in a prayerful mood. What kills a prayerful mood is, um, I'm okay already, I already have something, I already am something, and not feeling uh, needful or helpless because of some artificial idea that I'm okay. Is everyone okay so far? Are you all comfortable? Okay, so if you, anybody needs to shift to a chair at any time, please feel free. That's why they're there. The chairs are there. And uh, you can meditate from there just as easily. And we'll even move it in closer if you need it for any reason. Okay, we'll take a couple of reflections, and then we're going uh, to practice a little bit to see how it goes. Reflection means anything you heard so far that stuck in your mind. Yeah. Hi, Krishna Prabhu. Hi, Krishna. I have a question about. Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, I have a question about the tongue. I think in in one of the scripts, maybe uh, Nectar of Instruction, I read that it's good to move the tongue when you're pronouncing. So it's yeah. that's one way of um, telling that you're pronouncing properly. Is that correct? Or? Yeah. If you just say the word pronunciation, you'll see that that there are a lot of muscles that are involved. Pronunciation. That. There's a whole uh, group of muscles and the vocal cords and everything working together. So use all those to pronounce the holy name. The tongue should move. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And you can become aware of it, how it's moving. Just as if you're learning an instrument, you, you feel how your fingers are moving or your hands and so forth. Three more reflections. Anything you heard or question? Uh, probably I remember the, you said the beginning of a habit, it begins like a very small strand and becomes a cable if it's done on a regular basis. That's uh, right, yeah. Thank you. And the way those come in, the ideas for those come in is by hearing from scripture. 
because there are good ideas in Scripture, and we'll pick them up by hearing about them. And once we, they go in as a seed, we'll say, then we'll say, I'll try this, I'll apply it. And once we start to apply it, then we can develop into a habit. And once we develop those habits that come from the scriptures from a higher authority, then our life starts to change in drastic way, good drastic way, yes. Um, Guru Mahaj, you told about <clears throat> slow and correct makes you, and by starting with slow and correct, eventually you can become fast and correct, but not otherwise. <laughs> right, yeah. Good. I was remembering that um, cleaning the house chanting which you mentioned because sometimes it, you know, if I chant early in the morning then it's good but if I delay then all these thoughts come, maybe I can do this and along with that I can chant but that's something to take away from. It is, that's really <coughs> important to, to carve out a time early in the day to, to chant and um, where you don't have anything else to do and if that becomes the f the central point of your life, then you'll arrange the other things that happen throughout the day around the fact that you need that period of time in order to be undistracted. Hi, Krishna. I have a question. Uh, I'm, I'm sure others might also have a similar one. How do we maintain this uh, prayerful mood throughout the 16 rounds? Because it can, I mean, while practice it may happen for one round, two round, but throughout 16 now it's like really kind of impossible for me right now. Well, um, one way Lord Chaitanya recommends, he says that you can con continually chant by being in a humble state of mind. So he says you should feel yourself to be insignificant, which is true. Uh, it's a, I'm, a, I'm a servant, but you know, I see sometimes, I live around a Burlingame High School and I see kids who borrow their, their parents' car, the big fancy car, and then they start driving like, you know, I'm cool. It's like, that's not your car, man. <laughs> so I, I've got all this stuff. I got a, a body and whatever, and I think it, it looks a certain way, and I, you know, and I start thinking, oh, I'm cool. But it's not your body. You, you're, you're just borrowing it. Don't get all puffed up. Lord Chaitanya says, just be humble, and then you can always chant. And the other thing he says is, give respect to others, but don't, don't expect anything in return. Don't have that hungry ego out. You know, it's like, I have to be noticed and things like that. And if you actually practice humility, this uh, feeling of being insignificant, an ins insignificant servant, then there's a real happiness that uh, comes in and, and one's able to focus because most of the distraction that comes into the mind is look at me, look at me, look at me. Even chanting Japa can be like that. It's like, wow, I'm really chanting Japa in an advanced way. I hope everyone notices that I'm chanting <laughs> how focused I really am. And then your mind's going all over the universe, you know, but you really have to um, dig deep into the, you know, the, the realm of really feeling helpless. When you're about to die, when, when the notice comes that you know, you have a few months to live, and then it becomes a few days and things. Your priorities change. And so we can change our priorities proactively by thinking, who am I? What, what is my real situation? What do I really have? And if you can conjure that state of mind, it's not really a conjurement, it's, it's actually the fact, it's reality. If you can come in contact with that reality, then, then really you can chant from your heart. And keep coming back to that. Every time the, the false ego tries to appropriate everything that happens, realize what's happening and come back to that humble state of mind. That's Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's advice. He said that you should wear this verse. This verse, it's a famous verse that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave that talks about humility to be humble. He said, wear it like a garland around your neck. This idea that I'm, I'm as low as the gra grass in the street. And I'm as tolerant as a tree and devoid of all f sense of false prestige, ready to give respects to others, but I don't need any respect for myself. So these are jewels, and he said, string them on a, on a garland and put it around your neck. So if you, if you keep coming back to that as you're chanting and throughout the rest of the day in your life, then Kirtaniya Sadahri said you can keep chanting. You won't be impeded in your chanting. Two more? Yes. Three more? No, no. 
ギターよろしくお願いしますはいあの、uh, We thinking we need something this we, did, we need this thing but in the holy name everything we have we need this point I, I stuck It's very good huh yeah Nambina kichunahiko ora, chauda bhuvanama, nothing else to be had, nothing to see here, you walk away, just chant the name right behind you. Hare Krishna Prabhu, now that we are talking about the concentration and the chanting discipline, I have this question in my mind. What is the ideal duration for chanting one round and 16 rounds? The way I have grown and developed my chanting in, over the years is seven and a half minutes. That's perfect. That, yeah. And then two hours for chanting the 16 rounds. Very good. But now I have heard so many people saying that um, I can do it in one hour, one hour 30 minutes. So I don't know how those people are able to. It's individual. Do what works for you so that you can concentrate, pronounce, sit properly. And you'll know when you're actually chanting nicely because you'll have an experience where uh, you don't want to give it up. That's what you want to get to. When you get to 16 rounds and say, oh no, I don't want to stop now. Uh, the holy name's attractive. The experience is pleasurable for the soul, actually. So try to get yourself in that zone where you're actually experiencing something. And then the time becomes less important. You won't even look at the clock. You just, you know, at a certain point you may check, but uh, it'll become more important to you how you're really extending yourself to the holy name rather than like the time factor. Hare Krishna Bhavaji. I just want to make a comment on the point that you mentioned about recording your own chanting. Yes. So last year, right, we had a, a series of lectures on Japa by His Grace Satyadev Prabhu. So this was one of the, you know, similarity that he mentioned also. So I, I went home, you know, and I, I tried recording my own chanting. And I found that sometimes I miss, so, so it's 108 beats, right? I, I, I found that I did 106 or 107. So it, it helps, you know, when you record your own chanting. So, so, so. Yeah, any kind of practice that you do in any discipline, if you uh, become more aware of how you're actually doing it, you, it'll help you to improve conscious awareness. So job is the same. Don't assume that you're doing it perfectly come back and revisit on a regular basis and start as a beginner and say, I'm starting over. I'm going to start as a beginner and like that. Okay, so shall we try a little japa? The experiments, are we willing to risk that? Okay, so there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, if you would like to, if those of you who didn't bring beads, First, let me say that you don't have to have beads to chant japa. You can chant on your fingers, and there's a way to do that. Actually, i just say really quickly, there are these little spaces in between, which are kind of far out. Uh, you'll notice these little spaces, they're actually meant for counting. <laughs> I, I think that's why they're there. Okay, so uh, the way you can count to 10, and counting in 10s is really easy. You can, here's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you ever get thrown in jail and they take away your beads, uh, or you know they don't allow you. A string of anything because you might hang yourself um, you can count on your hands so you, you count on that and then on the other side you can you know keep track of every 10 and then once you get to 100 then you just do eight more and you've got one round then you can make a little mark on your body <laughs> so you get to 16 <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so that's one way Another way is to not count at all and just be absorbed, at least for today, in the chanting. The reason we count is because it's a practice and you want to see that you're maintaining a certain number every day. So you don't go below and then you can go above. And that, that will help 
of what we call, this is what we call numerical strength, numerical strength. Because some days you'll have taste and other days you won't have taste, but you still, in the practice, you do it anyway. Say, I'm still doing this certain number every day, no matter whether I have taste or I don't have taste, or whether you know, the president declares martial law or not, I'm still gonna do my number, that's all. That's the way it is. Okay, so if you chant on beads, may I have, are there some beads in here? Let me see one set of beads, and I'll just demonstrate for those who might want to try beads. This, in every culture of the world, there are some kind of beads. There are some kind of uh, prayer beads. And uh, maybe at San Francisco Airport, they have this beautiful place where they, they do these exhibits. One year they should do an exhibit of prayer beads from around the world. These are from uh, India. They have 108 beads. And at the top... This is the Krishna bead. And so one round, we call one round, is to chant one mantra on each bead and go all the way around so you get to the other side. And you don't chant on the Krishna bead, but you go back the other way. So we use these two fingers, thumb and middle finger, and we hold one bead like this, and we roll it. And... This actually helps concentration. It's aesthetically very pleasing. And so it would go like this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Now I move to the next bead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. As I make progress, I'll come all the way to the Krishna bead, and then once I get there, like at the end of a, if you're doing laps in a swimming pool, you just turn around and go the other way, all the way back. And so you're going in a circle, basically, or, uh, coming back and going forward. So anybody would like to try beads who doesn't have them? Some beads? Yeah. If you didn't bring your own and you'd like to try a set of beads, just raise your hand. Okay, so let's let's do. Um, are you ready for one round together? Shall we try it? Yes. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to say uh, a mantra which helps to clear all the obstacles before we start the chanting. So I'll say it and you can repeat. And then we'll start off together in, we'll go together in unison through 108 mantras. And we'll employ all of the things that we just heard about in the way of, of posture, pronunciation, prayer, and feeling humility, and bringing the mind back to the mantra wherever it goes. And then when we get to the end of the 108 mantras, which is a big deal, then we'll have a, a short session of reflections to hear uh, how it went for you or how it didn't go for you. Okay, so I'll say first this mantra you can repeat. This is called the Panchatattva Mantra, the clear obstacles. Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhara Sri Vasadi Gora Bhakta Brinda. I'll do it two more times. Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya. It's also up there. Prabhu Nityananda. Shri Advaita. Gadadhara. Shiva Sari. Gora Bhakta Brinda. Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Prabhu Nityananda, 
श्री अद्वैता गदाधर शिवासारी गौर भक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे so in the brahma sanghita a prayer spoken by lord brahma at the beginning of creation he says there are different realms of consciousness he names goloka namni nijat namni tale tatasya devi mahesha haridama sute shute shute te prabhava nichaya vihitasya yena govinda mari purusham da mahambajami various realms in this universe and beyond of consciousness and the consciousness according to the vedic philosophy is most affected by sound vibration the kind of sound vibration that i expose myself to will determine my state of consciousness the kind of sound vibration and there is material sound and there's spiritual sound and they have a very um they have a varied effect on my consciousness so um the mantra that we just chanted according to the vedas comes from a higher spiritual realm the highest spiritual realm and just by regularly associating with the, the sound vibration then the transformation will take place and one should experience it for oneself just as when one is hungry and eats a good meal one feels nourished satisfied and the hunger goes away with every morsel that one eats so in the similar a similar way one will have one's own experience directly from chanting the mantra it's good to study the the science of chanting japa and one way to do that is to talk to others who are chanting and find out what their experience is as in other disciplines it's also helpful to 
associate with those who are serious about the discipline. If you uh, spend time with people who are very um, focused and interested in the chanting and who are getting a taste from it, you'll be encouraged also. And um, you'll hear things, uh, pieces of advice that will help you. For instance, I have a friend who's very um, careful in his practice of chanting japa. And every, whenever I spend time with him, I also, I also feel more encouraged to chant good japa. And one of the things he told me once was that he doesn't always get a taste in chanting his 16 rounds. Sometimes it comes after he finishes. <laughs> That's good to remember. He was telling me once, <clears throat> many years ago, about how he chanted his 16 rounds and he felt, as, he felt bereft as if he couldn't get a taste. And, but afterwards, when he went outside, he'd do some laundry, uh, suddenly he, the whole world changed before him. He, he, just, he, f he was overwhelmed by the experience and he felt as if it, it came a, as a wave later. One thing to remember, as Bhaktivinoda Thakur, the great a teacher of this process, from many years ago, says that uh, we should come in as beggars. You have a begging bowl and you ask, it doesn't mean you're going to get. So, um, not that we demand, but we wait patiently and we put ourselves in such a position that we can receive it. And it can, the, the mercy, or what we say grace, it comes down to us. Uh, especially if we prepare our heart through uh, feeling uh, humble and bereft of any other qualification. If I begin my prayer in such a way that I establish my helplessness, I'm much more likely to get something. Just like when people are going by giving the beggars, if they see somebody who really looks like they need it, <laughs> And they're not just faking it. <laughs> it's like, that guy's all right, you know? <laughs> uh, the runt of the litter always gets more attention. And the litter of puppies. It's, oh, the little baby puppy, he can't fend for himself. So the, they bring it, and if you become the runt of the litter, and it's like, I'm helpless, I don't have anything, I don't have any other recourse except this, please help me, I'm, uh, other than this, I, I, I have no qualification except for, for whatever grace you bestow upon me, then uh, that can come to us. And this is a universal process. It's non-sectarian. It's available to any living entity anywhere in any tradition. It doesn't matter what prayer you're doing. If you open your heart and mind in the same way, uh, then you get. And all the advanced practitioners warn against doing it as a uh, unconscious routine. Don't do it as an unconscious routine. Do it in a conscious way where you're really calling out for help. And so you, that takes a, some uh, rearrangement of your life every day in some way to be able to consciously perform this activity. And now we'll take a couple of reflections. If you want to say something about how the chanting went, you can say that. That would be interesting, just to hear how it went for you. I couldn't concentrate. I was thinking about my legs were hurting. Um, I was thinking about later, I have to take the kids to soccer. Uh, World Cup, is it still going on? Yeah? So World Cup's going on. I wonder who was going to win. Uh, you know, this whole thing. So, any thoughts you have? Indra. It's easier to chant with others than by yourself. Yeah, that's good to know. And, and I, f I, f I find that as well. There are certain people, if I get around them, like when I go to Los Angeles, I, sit, I always sit in between such an annoying Banabata. I put my seat right in between because they're very serious Japa chanters, very serious. And so if I get right in the middle of them, then I always say, I'm going to have good Japa today. <laughs> so find out where you do your best Japa and go there. If you, if you find someone that you can be around that really helps you, it's like, hey, can I come sit with you? And, you know, get close to those people. If they find your advantage and take it. 
Find where you can get your best advantage. Mayapur. Do we have to turn it off every time? <laughs> Prabhuji, you can just leave uh, it on? Yeah. Uh, Prabhuji, do I need your guidance on a couple of points. Uh, maybe because of my habit over so many years, you know, I have at least tendency of that kind kind of things where I am on my mantra, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I, you know, when you focus, don't even try to move your head. Of oh, moving your head? Yeah, I thought I did it better, you know, if I can move because that kind of things with where I am on the mantra sometimes. So, yes, is it more of a habit than which I should try I don't to know. Work? You have to see for yourself. A lot of these things you have to experiment it. And I only, I wasn't making a stricture, you know, you can't move. But uh, I was just saying that you experiment and see what's the difference. Don't take it for granted that this is like, you know, I'm really into my japa. It might be that, you know, your mind is just <laughs> rocking you because it's like, when am I going to be finished with this? And like, this is the only way I can, you know, try, try different things. And Bhaktivinoda recommends this in his book, Hari Nam Chintamani. He said, go sit in a closet. Go sit in a room with a, with a chutter over your head, you know, so you don't see anything. Try different things. Sit with an advanced person and, and chant. But experiment and see for yourself. Be honest and observe, you know, how it's really going for you. Okay? Uh, also, Prabhuji, on the same note, you know, when I like to chant with the devotee, as Prabhuji mentioned, you know, it's, it's certainly very powerful. But at the same time, in the group chanting, I personally feel I'm, I'm better off at my speed, you know, which is... Yeah. yeah, and it's a little artificial. I mean, when we do this chanting in unison of Japa, it's more like kirtan. <laughs> Than, than it is japa. And we can try another session where you go at an individual rate. So again, it's, yeah, that could be true too. So, yeah. Yes, Shikumar. Prabhuji, uh, posture and pronunciation was good, but prayer was very difficult, so. Prayer you can practice. In fact, you know, in any of the, the rituals, the bhakti rituals, there's always a, um, a section that you begin with. For instance, before you do deity worship, you start with prayers. Naham bipro nacha, I'm not a patira napi vaisha. I'm not a vaisha, I'm not a shudra, I'm not a brahman sannyasi, I'm nothing but a servant of the servant of the servant. And there are purificatory mantras, one says, I'm an eternal servant of Krishna, but somehow or I've fallen into this ocean of material existence. And... Uh, so you have to start. One of the other sections that I have I didn't cover today was sankalpa. I mean, before you begin chanting, uh, fix yourself in your uh, self conception and make a, a determination why you're doing this. It's uh, it's interesting how powerful the mind is because you may start off on that you know for a week or so and then the mind will say you don't have time for that just chant you know get this stuff done <laughs> let's let's get on with life. <laughs> You got emails to do. So it, it's a constant renewing. You have to renew your practice. That's why it's important to come together uh, occasionally, regularly for these kinds of sessions to, to renew your determination. So you have to do it every day also. Sit down and then a practice praying. Make a prayer. And if you, if you don't have a prayer that comes readily to your heart, Use one that's already uh, been given by some great personality. There's a really nice prayer in the 17th mantra of the Sri Upanishad. Oh, my Lord, as powerful as fire, omnipotent one, now I offer you all obeisances falling in the ground at your feet. Please lead me on the right path to reach you. And since you know everything I've done in the past, Please free me from the reactions to my past sins so there will be no hindrance to my progress. And uh, there are thousands, thousands of prayers that you can pick out, find one that's meaningful to you, and then absorb yourself in it, read it, pull it out before you chant, and things like that. Sometimes it even helps to keep it with you when you're chanting, keep it in front of you. And if your mind really wanders off track, stop, Read your prayer and then go back into your chanting.
that can help also. Other reflections? Yeah. For me, I was noticing that if I close my eyes after some time, I was yawning. So opening the eyes and rather reading the Mahamantra from the screen, that helped. And um, one more thing, the same thing which you said, like when I see devotees who are uh, chanting with a lot of focus, even if I look at them sometimes of the day for at least one, one or two days, I remember them and I chant better. And if I see somebody multitasking, looking at cell phone and all, that also, it has an impact on me. I yeah. think it, that is okay, you know, if he can do, probably it's okay. <laughs> 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 and one more thing, um, I just wanted to mention that when I, we had, when I was in India with my relatives, because they don't know a lot about chanting, and um, they used to notice me, even if I would do it separately, they would notice. So, I, I was like very careful to chant like well because I was almost advertising is gone to them, you know. So I was like very careful that they have a good, you know, impression. And I it really works. Then they take you with very, very seriously if you chant well because they are not very much familiar with chanting. So I just wanted to bring that up. Very nice points. Really nice. Yes. And if there's any, all the devotees, anyone watching online too, if you have points, you can text them in and we have some texts. Or if you're on the conference call, please feel free to jump in. Shraddha? Yes, we have a text from Sundarananda Prabhu. And he says, uh, thank you Prabhu for focusing on the basics. And um, Aditya Prabhu said that, I like the fact of being indifferent to the distractions of the mind rather than acting on them. Who said that? Aditya Varma Prabhu. Oh, very nice. Yes. So, um, Maharaj, I wanted to share that um, in the beginning, a prayer is always very difficult for me also. <laughs> so, um, in the beginning when you started chanting Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya, I just said, okay, I will focus on each of the personalities that you were naming and see that how they have given me their mercy, like what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had influence on my life, Nityananda Prabhu was so graceful when I was in Mayapur and so on and so forth. So that brought me in sort of a gratitude and I could go into the prayerful mode. And then of course after a few times, after a few um, around, um, mantras, my mind was gone as usual. <laughs> and then um, I realized that you had mentioned that there's a difference between life situation and life. And that was a good way to bring back because I was in a life situation thinking about what's happening and then realized that this is not it. What do I have, what do I have with me now? And then I realized I have nothing actually nothing other than to just you know pray and get out of this <laughs> this world nice yeah. thanks for sharing your process it's it's helpful damodar i have good news <laughs> <laughs> so when this uh, honorable guest came i had an opportunity to go out and uh, I just looked at all of you and uh, it was a sight. Uh, it, I, it struck me as if uh, what would have been going in uh, Naimi Sharanya when the sages were actually discussing for the problems of the world and uh, you know it's very powerful when group of devotees sit together, control, try to you know focus on the Lord and be union. So it was very good to see all of you. Thank you so much. That's really nice, Dhammadar. It, yeah, it's, it's a, to see devotees together, maybe when you're in the middle of it and you're struggling to practice or whatever you think, you know, this is difficult. But when you see from the outside everyone together doing it, it's something extraordinary. Something really extraordinary. Jaindra? So, Hare Krishna Maharaj, if you can uh, please talk a little bit about difference between Japa and Kirtan. Okay, so... Japa is what we just did, and here's what Kirtan's like. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 
Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare 
Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hari bol, Hari bol, Nitai gold, Hari Go pray manane, pre kishori harmonium. Let's hear for the kartal players, for the Hari Krishna singers. Go pray manane. Nitai Gora Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Nitai Gora Hari So thanks everyone for joining us online today and Thanks everyone who came all the way in to the Japa workshop. And just a small refresher, a short refresher, to um, keep the mind back on track, to rearrange our lives in such a way that we can give prominence to the chanting and give attention every day. Because from that all good things will come. The power to do everything else nicely will come. And it's not only the practice, but it's also the goal. So follow in the footsteps of the great liberated souls who are recommending this. They are saying and pointing out through the scriptures, throughout the, all the Vedas, it's all pointing to this practice 
of sincerely meditating on and chanting the holy names of God that is especially effective in this present age of Kali Yuga, which is so fraught with obstacles on all sides and distractions. Uh, by chanting Hare Krishna, one can overcome all other obstacles. And we're going to now have a uh, Guru Puja. So Puja means a worship, and Guru means the teacher. So the founder of, and the teacher of our institution is A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, whose image you see here on this small, um, we call Shinghasana, and a seat of honor. And uh, we're going to sing a prayer in Bengali. And uh, it honors the guru. And we'll, we'll stand up. And then uh, the devotees who wish to will have some flowers. We offer the flowers. This is a very traditional uh, ceremony that takes place in uh, ashrams all over the world to honor the guru. And then uh, just after that, we're going to serve uh, breakfast, which is called uh, prashadam. So the food is all vegetarian, and it's cooked by devotees with uh, love and attention. They make it as an offering rather than just cooking. They're thinking of making it as, as, as they're cooking, that this will be an offering to Krishna. So afterwards it's offered with love and devotion. And then the, the, the food stuff also becomes transformed. Same vibration as the mantra. So just by eating that special food, which is blessed, then one also gets spiritual acumen. So that's the next two programs. We'll stand up and put all the asans away, and then we'll have the Guru Puja followed by Prashadam. Thank you very much.